What has been going on in the life of Steve-O since we last talked? It's been like a year or so. I, it, it has been a while, huh? Um, man, that uh, I think uh, more of the same stuff, man. I've been doing this multimedia comedy tour. I just taped the special for it. Uh, I'm going out on the, the, the last ever leg of the, the bucket list tour. Um, damn, this special is so good, dude. Really? It, it's it's ridiculous. How many years did it take you to cook this up? Yeah, I worked on this show for five years. Five years? Yeah. Damn. Okay, so you're really like proven that you're taking it serious because I, I from listening to Joe Rogan so much over the years, I get the idea that usually it's like a year to two years for a special. Sure, it can be. It can be. I mean, like, uh, take the pandemic out of the equation in, like, a year and a half that there wasn't real touring going on. Like, right. that would crunch it down a little bit. Right. You throw that in there. You really got uh, an extended break. Yeah. But, but dude, I'm super, super stoked on it. It's a multimedia show. And uh, I did just gnarly stuff that would never fly for Jackass. Mm -hmm. Like, Give me an example. Things uh, that are too far gone. Like, you, we can't break the law when we're filming for Jackass. Okay. Um, we can't. Um, Just because it's such a big platform right. and it's Insurance, through the studios. It's like the and... whole deal. So um, one of my things was um, to get a medical professional in disguise administering stolen general anesthesia drugs into an IV in my arm while I was riding a bicycle. What the hell? This is a fucking general anesthesia bike ride. So what, you're just, just going to so pass out while you're doing it? Or? <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> that, 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 then, uh, that, you know what an epidural is? They, they put a four-inch needle into your spine. Yeah, my girl got it when she uh, gave birth. It just, it just straight paralyzes you. Really? Yeah, they, they inject a drug into your spinal cavity, which renders you paralyzed, at least from the waist down. Really? So I got a... Uh, like a, I got that, and I was rendered paralyzed in a full sprint. And how'd that go? Like <laughs> that like, one was that one was like the most messed up thing ever. So, because, so you just like collapsed while yeah. you were in full sprint. Yeah, for sure. And um, it was, uh, dude. Like I, I shouldn't even say this, but it was, it was in a cop's backyard. <laughs> 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 um. It was so gnarly, dude. So and uh, once I collapsed on the ground, just like you know, my buddies to start doing gnarly shit to determine how paralyzed I was. Right. Which it just got dark and 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 creepy. It's my favorite thing, dude. That's like a level of entertainment that I think about sometimes. Of like, you know, you just remember it from Jackass and CKY and shit. Where like you you put your friend or you in a in a shopping cart. And you just blast it as fast as you can across the parking lot until it like hits a bush or a curb or something. And then the person falls down and you film it and that's the joke. But I feel like <laughs> that kind of content in a lot of ways has not like made the transition into the social media age because I mean, I guess sometimes, you know, you would see Steve will do it getting hot sauce dumped into his eyes and that kind of oh, thing. Dude. That's very Steve-O, you know, but yeah. like at a certain point, a lot of that like self torture stuff didn't really make the transition to short form content on the internet. Uh, I, I don't know Maybe that I'm I agree wrong. with that. I mean, if you look at uh, like the show ridiculousness, mm. I mean, people are pretty active doing that kind of stuff. Okay. So it's still happening. I'm yeah, just it's not happening tapped in. Like I mean, dude, remember the milk crate challenge, dude, where yeah, they were like, cool. you ever no, do that? No, God, no. Oh, <laughs> I was kind of tempted. I want no part in that. I was dude. like, where the fuck am I going to get like 80 milk crates? Dude, every single person ate shit in the most violent, upsetting way. Yeah. Like no way I want to do that. You know what it is probably is that my media diet is so hip hop and in hip-hop right, 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 right. no one is torturing themselves <laughs> right. in the same way that like i am just parallel with so many things that the world that i'm in considers gay as fuck because like the other day i was in an orgy and i was doing an eiffel tower with this guy this french dude which i thought was pretty funny that we were both like putting our hands together while we were both getting it in at the same time and i keep asking my uh you know street connects what they think of it there's been a lot yeah. of blank stares, a lot of a lot of real I, confusion about why I would partake in such a thing. Yeah, I, I get it, man. <laughs> I get it. I remember uh, 
speaking of uh, hot sauce in the eye, I, I had uh, the, the late great prodigy. Shout out prodigy. Pour like a cup. We took a bottle of Tabasco sauce. We were at the G Unit offices. Took a bottle of Tabasco sauce and just emptied it into a cup. So it was like a good amount of it. And then he, just, and then he dumped the cup into my eye. Whoa. And it was, uh, I remember my, my, my whole eyelid like got like, like all puffy, like it, it, it was a, a pretty good one. And you, uh, you requested this, or that was his yeah, idea? yeah, for sure, right, for sure. And, and what was like your recollection of his response? I just I remember, they, like you know, kind of like, uh, oh man, this crazy kid, like you know, <laughs> everybody got a kick out of it. it it's uh, like that that was that was okay, right. but I understand in the hip hop kind of uh, culture, once you get over into like anything sexual that has two dudes in the same spot yeah. like then it's not anything gay doesn't really play that well in hip hop <laughs> that's which is I'm unfortunate saying. for me it's like because you know a lot of my humor tends to go in that direction right. you know but yeah that, that's one thing that doesn't really make the translation and then I just think like the self torture thing like you're just never going to see a rapper like poking himself in the eyeball or anything right. I just don't think it's going to happen right Dude, I was on a, a podcast the other day. This it's like this dating podcast called Whatever. And uh they have a popping YouTube channel and stuff like that. And they'll they'll get a big panel of like ten people on it, right? What were you gonna say? I was just gonna say we were talking about hot sauce. Oh brought, yeah, yeah. I brought you a bottle of my own Steve-O's hot sauce for your butthole. How hot are we talking here? This is this is the original flavor. It's not that hot. That one I've poured in my eyes a bunch of times. Like I'm right. not trying to pour it in my eyes anymore because now I need glasses. <laughs> no, definitely. But, I, I'm, uh, I'm dying to try this out. Dude, it's that that's delicious. I'm addicted to that stuff. It looks like you have a BBL in the little cartoon here. Uh, what's a BBL? Oh, a Brazilian butt lift. It's where they like take oh, the fat wow. out of your stomach okay. and put it in your ass, which I don't actually think you should do that. But and then yeah. you have a, a, a stick of dynamite in your ass as well. Yeah. Then there's the, the, the a much hotter version of it called Stevo's Butthole Destroyer Hot Sauce, mm -hmm. and that's the one where my ass is is actually exploding on the label. Right. So this is more of like an everyday use kind of thing. That's everyday use. It's it's utterly fantastic and available on Amazon. I love it. Anyway, uh, on this podcast, yeah. there was one girl, OnlyFans girl or whatever, and probably at one point, like 80% of the comments in the chat were calling her Steve-O. Oh, yeah. Because she talked like this. <laughs> and uh, we were also calling her RFK Jr. at a certain point right, right, because okay. that's kind of like the other reference when somebody has a raspy voice. I think Gavin Newsom. He right? has one? I don't know. I just remember that there was a minute where I was – uh, working with um, a vocal coach, uh -huh. like I was like finding myself self conscious about it, and um, also I was I made a video called "Why My Voice Is So Messed Up," <laughs> and uh, it was kind of part of like that video, um, and and the vocal coach I was working with um, said I really want like uh, to help Gavin Newsom with his voice. I need everybody to check out nojumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, etc. plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, etc. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out nojumber.com. So make sure you tap in.